If you ever thought bad roads are only in the hinterlands, you may want to change your position. As some roads in Kwabinya, right here in the Dom Kwabinya constituency here in Accra, are in a terrible state. As part of Joe News' agenda on roads this week, Maxwell Agbaba visited the community in the capital to meet a taxi driver, Frederick Asiedu. He says he now spends more than double of his income on spare parts. The 30-year-old taxi driver says it's dangerous to drive on some of the roads as the dust sometimes blur his vision. More in this report. The roads here are full of potholes as vehicles plying the route dodge the deep holes on the stretch. Commercial drivers in Kwabinya are those who are badly affected by the terrible state of the roads. Frederick Esiedu is one of them. Even as he screams to get the attention of passengers, he's also concerned about his expenditure on spare parts. Is it Kwabinya to what? Kwabinya to Brikuso Road, yeah. Okay. The challenges are more because looking at the road is very bad. So you have been begging the uh, municipal people to come in. You have been going to Abokobi so that they will, they will come to our head, but they are not been coming. So now you are tired of buying spare parts and here and there, going to Abosokan every day and there. When you buy the spare parts, it will spare and you go to Abosokan. So when you work, you don't get any money. What your income, you go and use it to buy spare parts. So it's very bad. This road has been here since 2000. The member of parliament for Domi Kwabenya, Adwasafo, is aware of Frederick's challenges and that of his colleague drivers. At an event to start the rehabilitation of the new Agbogba Hachu, Domi Pillar 2, Kwabenya, and Abokobi roads last year, she stated, quote, as a member of parliament of this constituency, I'm very much aware of the negative effect our bad road network has on the operations of residents of the constituency. Drivers who ply on this bad roads charge you extra for the simple reason that they have to frequently visit the workshop because of the persistent breakdown of their vehicles, unquote. Frederick is also worried about the poor state of visibility on some of the roads. He says the dust on some of the untired ones blur his vision. It's very bad. If you look at the dusty, dusty. So when it rains, some cars, you cannot go, you cannot load and go. Very dangerous, very, very dangerous, as you know the rules of driving. Because you can see some cars coming with a tall speed. Because of the dust, you cannot see far. So you have to slow down for the dust to go down before you can drive. So it's very dangerous. Enter in our car, you shock. Because the passengers will be shouting on that. They, they think you are not uh, keeping our car neat. You always keep our car neat. When you pass on the road going to and fro, just to and fro, master, you see that this car has been washed like three years. But every day when you close from work, you have to go and wash your car. But the next day, you, you'll be on the route. When you see the car, I see if you've not watched it since four years. The painting of the structures along some of the streets of Kabinya have turned brownish as a result of the dust from some of the untied roads. Residents and drivers like Frederick want authorities to address the situation. Maxwell Agbaba, Joy News. Look out for more stories on the bad state of roads in this week.